Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back. Today I'm going to take you for a little walk through my house and share with you some of the items that I have styled that I've picked up from the thrift store. Now I haven't done a video like this in quite a while, so let's see, I'll have stuff from both February and March, so I have quite a lot to get through, so let's go ahead and get started. So in the living room, many of you probably remember seeing my hutch makeover for the spring. So I thought I would just quickly show you some of the newish items that I have. The first one being this plate up here. Can't remember how much I bought it for, but that is very pretty. As is these two compotes right here. Both of these are from the thrift store. They were each $2.99. I haven't even taken the takes off. So those are also a find this last couple months. And then moving down here, these blue and white floral plates. I have one here. Aren't they just gorgeous? Oh, I love them so much. And then I also have two more up here. One there, and then one there. Then down on this shelf down here, these are the white handled silverware that I found. I don't know if I ever showed these. Oh my, oh, I'm dropping stuff. All right, so I just stuck those in there, love those. And then this little dish right here is also fine. Oh, look at that crazing. Oh my goodness, and those beautiful, beautiful flowers. Love it so much. This little dish is so sweet. It's tiny, I love it so much. And this is um, Johnson Brothers from England, and it was $5, even with all the crazing on it. Normally, if there's crazing like this at my thrift store, they mark it way down, but for some reason, somebody must have known what they were doing. <laughs> so it was five. Oh wait, this was from Goodwill. That makes a difference. Goodwill is obviously much more expensive than the other thrift store that I go to. And then let's see, this one down here, this soup terrain. I believe it was $6.99 when I picked it up, and I have it sitting here on this shelf of my hutch. Um, this is just gorgeous. I love it so much. I've never really been into like this color green, but ever since I saw this soup train, I'm like, you know what? I do like green. So that is sitting there on this little shelf. I'm trying to think of what else I used down here. Oh, here we go, down here. This is an ironstone plate. Found it for $2 at my thrift store. So I stuck that in there. This item, I don't know if I ever showed in a thrift store haul because I started using it right away. Um, let's see. This is Fire King. So I don't know if it's actually considered milk glass. If it, I don't know. Anyways, it was like $2 at the thrift store. So I picked that up. And normally I have a plant sitting in here, but I just stole it for another place in my house. So I need to replace the plant in there. Um, so I'll do that later, but... I just wanted to check out something, so I stole the plant from here and used it somewhere else, so now I have to replace that one. Anyways, um, these beads are also something that I found at the thrift store. Um, they were not strung like this. They were beaded, and then they had like these wooden spools, so I unbeaded them all and then re-strung them just to have little wood beads to play with. I have them here, and then I'll show you over here too them wound around up here as well although it looks like the kids have been kind of messing with it so yeah so I have those two strands and I have a whole bunch more downstairs that aren't even threaded yet so I have made four of these and they're about four feet long each so yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of the beads but anyways so that is that oh you know what I missed something up here, these two bowls were from quite a while ago, and I just never knew what to do with them, but I figured they worked good up here, so I have them stacked together. I don't know what they are. Can we see that? There we go. $1.99 for two of them, so that was a great deal. And I just have this little plant from Hobby Lobby in it. It's in a little pot. Oh, I can't pick it up. There we go. A little pot like that. I love this little plant. It looks like a um, sedum to me. A ground cover plant that my mom has in her garden. 
So I love that so much. So, all right, so that is it for that part of the hutch. And then finally, down here at the bottom, I have this gorgeous green um, sugar bowl. Love it so much. I cannot remember how much I paid for it. I don't have the sticker on it anymore. But I want to say it was under $3. Or it was probably $1.99. The green color, once again, I found this not long after. I found this, and I thought, oh, I have to use them. They will go nicely together. So I just think it's very cute. And then I just have a collection of silver spoons inside there. I love silver flatware. Oh, I love it so much. So anyways... Over here, this little teapot is also from a thrift store a while ago, as are th these little teacups. This one here is so pretty, as is this one here. So I just have those kind of all stacked up, so it's kind of like a little tea area. I don't really know. This could be holding my tea in it. I don't know if that's what it's from. This is also from the thrift store, but I've had this one for years. So yeah, that is what I did with those items. So over in my living room, oh look at this, my daughter's got her cord for her. Oh, I tell ya, kids. This is her charging cord, which is, explains why my couch is up from the side of the wall. There's an outlet down in there. All right, anyways, <laughs> kids. Um, here we go. This is something that I found at the thrift store not too long ago also. These gorgeous, silverware. I don't know if I can read. I cannot read the maker of them. Anyways, doesn't matter. I just love the handles. I thought they were so cool. So I have the knives in this little picture here. And then over in my hutch, I have some more. Let's see if I can get my hutch open. I'm going to need to move this. And then open it up very carefully. Get my lights out of the way here. There we go. And then down here, I have the forks. And they're just kind of scattered on this little tray. And I think it looks nice with the soup train and the tray underneath, the plate underneath it. So that's cool. And then you may remember this adorable teacup and saucer. I stuck her in here. Just a little pop of color for the spring. And she's sitting next to another soup tureen. So that is the only thing new in my hutch right now. Pretty sad, really, but my hutch doesn't get changed up very much. I did steal a platter that used to go here, and that is on my other hutch at the moment. I really should replace that. That looks kind of bare. But anyways, all right, let's move on. All right, so over here in my dining room, I'm still working on my dining room. That's why there's such a mess. So do not <laughs> worry about the mess if you see it in the mirror in the background. Um, this is one of the items that I found not too long ago. Absolutely love this painting. It was $1.99. Love it. And then over here on the other side of the mirror, I found another painting the very same day, and the colors are very similar. This one was also $1.99. So I put that one there. I just love this one so much too. Oh, love them both. So anyways, I have both of them hanging on either side of this mirror that I have in my dining room. Sorry, the lighting's getting really bad. And yeah, so I'm working on a display for this area here. Um, yeah. This is something that I just picked up today, guys. Look at this. Love it. It's a little topiary tree. Isn't it cute? Love it. The lighting in here is so terrible. All right, so hopefully you will be able to see this. This pink quilt is something that I found not too long ago. I may have shared it last week. Loved this quilt. I thought it was so pretty. So I've just kind of like folded it and put it over this chair with this little pillow in front of it. And I love how it adds a little pop of pink to the room that I love. And then over here, it kind of ties in with the cushions over here. And have the hot pink in it also. So yeah, that is cool. And there's my other camera on its tripod out of the way so the puppies don't knock it over. That would be terrible. So yeah, there is the little quilt. For now, it's perfect. So it's perfect right here because the girls will grab it because in the evenings, the house still kind of gets a little chilly. 
at night. So, yeah, we're still in blanket season, even though it's spring. But, oh, I just love this quilt so much. So that is what I did with the quilt. So moving on into the kitchen, you've probably seen a lot of this stuff already. If you saw, watched my, what is it, kitchen spring tour. Yeah, these little cubbies here I decorated. And this little bottle right here is a find from the thrift store. I think it was a 99 cents. And I filled it with little feathers. I think they consider them duck feathers. A lot of people ask me where I got the feathers. They're actually from the kids aisle at Michael's, like the kid crafting aisle. They have quite a, diff quite a few different feathers and they're not very expensive. So that's where I get my feathers. I have these ones with the white and brown and then I also have just plain white ones. I love using feathers. So that is what I did with that little baby bottle that I found. And then, moving over here, sorry the lighting in here is so terrible. On this shelf is mostly all new stuff. So let me just go through. You probably already saw this also if you saw the tour, kitchen tour. But in the middle here is the large like pizza board that I found at the thrift store. Also found this. I've been told it's a canning sort of tool that you push the stuff through a strainer. So that was found at the thrift store. This ma potato masher here, I love this potato masher, was also found at the thrift store. As was this little teapot. I think I've already shown this maybe in another style with me video, but yeah, love this teapot so much. And then this over here is a wood juicer found that at the thrift store and then over here a pastry roller it has a little wheel on both sides look at that still got its take on it it was $2.99 that worked out handy because I could not remember how much that was so I have that stuck in there and then this is the large like flower pot planter that I found a while ago I think it was like six dollars but I fell in love with it you probably can't see it because of the glare but it's got a lot of crazing on it love the fluted design and the scallop on the top and it was perfect to like corral all my little wood things so I love that this is also from the thrift store and as was this but this was a long time ago before my YouTube days but that was from the thrift store also and so was this and so was this and so was this <laughs> so that is what i've been doing there and then over here in my kitchen window i have this little pie server do you see that i just added this kind of to the collection i think this thing is so gorgeous it's got the metal silver detailing and then like I don't know, is it an opal? I don't know. Maybe bone? I don't know what kind of handle this is, but it's very pretty. I love it a lot. So I just kind of tucked it in here with this display. So as I'm sitting here washing dishes, I can admire it. And then this is another thrift store find, which was before um, I started my YouTube channel. But I recently just found it <laughs> in the way back of my hutch. And I'm like, this is perfect. I have to get it out. So... That is my Easter decoration. Pretty spiffy, right? <laughs> I go all out for Easter. Let me tell you. Alright, so then over here, I have these open shelves here. And I recently found this casserole dish, which I think is absolutely stunning love the design on that so I have that one on this side of the open shelf and then over here I have another one I think I've shown this one before I cannot remember um, but that is on the other side and I use both of these quite a lot I use it like if I make um, you know vegetables or something I'll throw them in there so they can stay warmer a little longer or I'll serve you know like taco meat in it and that sort of thing so that is where I keep those and I think it looks really nice with all of my other dishes. And they're super duper handy and convenient to just have out like that. So I use those, at least one of them, at least on a daily. So 
those were great finds and I don't think I paid more than five dollars for each of them so those were some great finds for me and then let's see down here <laughs> is a little vignette I put together with some thrift store finds also you may remember this wood tray it's got some staining on it and stuff I'm not sure if that will come off I'm thinking about maybe um treating the wood with some butcher block um, stuff that I have and may take some of that out but for right now I don't really care I just love the two-tone look of it I thought it was very cool so that is I just prop that up against the wall so then in front of it I have this bowl that came in this iron stand and I just love this piece so much I've been looking for something like this for a very long time um, right now I'm just using it to hold our fresh fruit and I think it is it has been working out really really well for us um, I love that it has the little handles on it so I could use it when I like entertain and stuff like that too so which will most likely happen and then finally I don't even think I've shown this in a thrift haul but I found this little mixer mixing bowl it is by Pyrex and I just thought it was so adorable it's got the little pour spout I'm assuming it went with a mixer at one point but I just thought it was so cute I love the milk glass um, look to it so I just had to have that don't know what to do with it so I just kind of added it to the mix here <laughs> for now um, my daughter has been making cookies so we just kind of been throwing the cookies in there because they don't stay around long enough for um, them to go stale and yep see no cookies left just the crumbs that's so sad so that is how I've used those thrifted items to make a little display on my kitchen counter. I have two things to share with you in my bedroom. Now I just started decorating. This place is still a disaster area. But I wanted to share with you because everyone has been asking me what I'm going to do with this compote. This blue glass compote that I found. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, love it. So what I've decided to do is put it on my dresser on this little stand that I have and put a candle inside of it. Now I need to find some sort of filler. I cannot decide if I'm going to fill it with these little rocks that I have or I have some white, like vintage white beaded necklaces that I thought would look really cool wrapped around there. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that. But so far right now it's just kind of sitting empty and it looks just fine just like this. And I paired it with this vintage clock and I'm liking the look on this side. All right, so then over here, I have the crystal bud vase that I found not too long ago. You see it there? Oh, isn't it pretty? Or I love its little petite size. I think it's so pretty. So anyways, I just decided to add some silk flowers to it. Just because you can never have any, enough flowers in your room. And then, of course, I added it, this little beaded tea light. And then another vintage clock. And that little display is very pretty and I love it a lot so simple but beautiful so in my basement bathroom I have this little I have this thrifted mirror and I found this dish not too long ago I thought it was really pretty and it holds q-tips so I thought the perfect match is this little picture that I found I just have a few flowers tucked in there and some eucalyptus leaves and then this little clock so I think it turned out really cute very easy simple so I'm kind of going with the blue and white theme in here because as you can see the walls have got a pale blue so this darker blue and white stuff as I find it I'll just keep adding it to this bathroom so there you go love it so also in the bathroom over on this side of the room I have had this little display here for a while with the frame and the picture inside of it so I decided to add this little painting you may remember this I found this was like two dollars it's just a little painting that's painted on wood and I just think it is so pretty isn't that gorgeous so on either side of that I just have these ball jars that I've had for a really long time. One on that side and one on that side 
I should really fill these with something, but I have not to figure out what to fill them with. I was actually thinking about maybe putting in some of those shower bombs. It would be really cool. So I'm thinking that I might do that. So that is where I put that little painting that I found. I just love it. It'll probably get moved somewhere else, but for right now, I couldn't find a spot for it. And when I came in here this morning, I'm like, oh, that would work perfectly. So I put that there for now. And I am liking the look. All right, so down in my family room, right next to the fireplace, I've added a few more of my finds. The first one being this ladder. A lot of you may remember and have been asking me what I've been doing with this ladder. As you can see, it has not been painted yet, but that is something that I'd like to do. And then I just hung this adorable quilt that I picked up. I think I showed it in my last week's um, haul. I just think it is so cute. It doesn't really like match or anything, but I really don't care. I think it is so adorable. So I have that hanging there on the ladder, and I think it looks really cute. And then at the base of the ladder, I don't think I've ever shown this, I have a little distressed stool. And then on top of that, I've got a lantern. And then this little container is from Hobby Lobby. I think I found that last year. Then I put in some grasses in there. So that's a cute little display for the bottom of the ladder. And I really like how it turned out. It looks nice next to my uh, wash basin, which we used to hold blankets in. So yeah, that is what I use that for. Alright, so that gives you a pretty good idea of what I have done with all those things that I share with you on Thrift Store Thursdays. Um, I didn't use everything. There's a few things that I still have that I haven't found places for. Um, and a few items that I won't find places for until, you know, the, the winter months or fall months. But for the most part, that is pretty much everything that I've found the last couple months. And I really like how everything is kind of flowing into what I've got going on. So that is working out very, very nicely. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to let me know down in the comments or take the time to give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you're enjoying these types of videos. Um, I will try to do this once a month instead of once every two months, but last month was crazy for me and I know a lot of you understand. So I just kind of lumped the two together because I've had quite a few questions lately of how I have styled some of the things that I've found at Thrift Store Thursdays that all of you are wondering what I've done with them. So I wanted to include in this video as many things as I possibly could. So hopefully it didn't turn out too long. But anyways, thank you for watching. I appreciate you stopping by and I will see you again very soon. Bye now.